Yeah, it's great, man. Um, again, a token to all of our hard work. Uh, we've put a lot of hours to get here, but you know, job's not finished. Um, I don't think anyone ever goes into the tournament with the dream to get to just to the Sweet 16. Um, obviously, we want to win a national championship, but we got to take it one game at a time. But, uh, you know, we get to live in this moment for a little bit. Um, and then tomorrow, rest up tonight, and then tomorrow, uh, game plan against Houston. You mentioned all that hard work, but talk about making some, you know, program history, back-to-back -back Sweet 16s for a university that's always been known as a football school, but you guys have changed that mindset real quick. Yeah, um, you know, at the end of the day, we, are, we all are passionate about basketball. Um, the success that comes with it is great. Um, being able to, quote unquote, make Miami a basketball school, um, it, it's a great feeling. But, you know, we sit and think about if we were to win a national championship, you know, what that, that, what that dynamic would look like. Yeah, is that attitude different at all from last year, where, where last year you guys had to pull off a really big upset just to get to the Sweet 16? This year, sure, all year long, like, you thought this was going to happen, right? Yeah, I, I mean, that's 100% true. I think the dynamic change last year was like, wow, these guys made it to the Sweet 16, and this year it was a little bit more pressure to get there to, to, not, to show that it wasn't just a fluke. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're headed to Kansas City. We have a, a really big game against Houston coming up. You know, all the guys are amped up to play. They're the number one seed. Um, you know, we feel like we can prove some more stuff. Yeah, what do you know about you? What it's like to see this fan reaction? I mean, you've been energized the whole campus. Everybody's hoops crazy right now. What does that feel like? It's great, you know, having the support from faculty, peers, uh, you name it. Just all rally behind us. You know, a lot of people can't make it to the games, but we know they're at home cheering for us, um, and they just want the best for us. What do you know about Houston so far? Um, we haven't dove into the scout yet, but I've seen them play. Um, they're a very physical team. They're a great team. They were number one for a, a long period of time during this, the regular season. Um, you know, we just got to attack this game plan and, and go from there. Jordan, I was going to say, Houston has, you know, some guards, three guards that people consider maybe the best or among the best in the country along with you guys. Um, five guys averaging double figures, sort of stat-wise, numbers-wise, they sort of look like Miami a little bit. Um, is, is, is it a, do you think it's a good matchup? Have you looked at it all yet? Have you seen Houston's film at all? Again, I haven't dove into it much. Um, you know, they, they weren't ranked number one for a long time for no reason. Um, I think, again, it's going to come down to whoever can make shots and get stops. Um, March is, is, is a crazy time. Um, the good thing about, the one thing I like about March Madness or the tournament is that we play teams that we never played before. Um, we always struggle against teams that have seen us before because they have better game plans. Um, I feel like we play a little unorthodox and it usually uh, causes a little bit of havoc early in the game because they just haven't seen anything like it. Jordan, how do you believe this team's grown mentally playing Friday closely against Drake and then yesterday as well? How do you think the team's grown to go back to the Sweet 16 this year? Um, can you elaborate on that question a little yeah, more? Yeah, I mean, like, just facing two tough tests against an Indiana team that had a lot of size and then playing Drake closely on Friday, how do you think that helped the team mentally to go into Sweet 16 this year? Yeah, uh, I think it shows resilience. I think we didn't have our best game against Drake on, on a Friday it was, right? Um, but we knew we had to bounce back Sunday. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's just about surviving and advancing. Whether it's ugly, whether it looks good, you know, as long as we're still dancing, you know, we're happy. How much of a relief was that? Man, I think it was a relief for all of us. Um, yeah, I can't even put in words. I, I honestly just, I'm happy. We had some huge Wooga Poplar, Norchad, Nigel Pack stepped up huge. Uh, you know, they played like they didn't want to go home and appreciate them very much, and we got to keep dancing. Is, that, is, that, is it good to get that feeling out of the way? Is the first one's always going to be like that pretty much? I, I feel like the first one's always pretty much like that. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Honestly, credit to Drake, you know, they played their hearts out. Um, they didn't want to go home. Their defense was really solid. Um, so, yeah, all credit to them. Feels like Wooga's taken a pretty big leap over the last, like, month or so. Do you guys feel just like you have another weapon, it feels like? like? How important has that been, his growth from the start of the year to now? Yeah, it's been huge. Uh, I mean, Wooga's only a sophomore. You know, the sky's the limit for him. Uh, he's been able to come, contribute, the, the, especially this second end of um, – this season, uh, having another weapon, I believe he's shooting over 30% from three. 
Um, he's dangerous off a of closeout, you know, just being able to take some of the pressure off the other guys and him stepping up makes everyone's job so much easier. Ruga said it was no big deal when he got off the bus because you guys went through this last year. He said the real celebration is coming towards the end, not, not, not now with 316. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it is a little bit of a big deal, you know what I mean? He, <laughs> again, Wug is a sophomore, so he... He last year he had this. This year he's had this. He hasn't necessarily had to. Um, I don't want to say work for it. He worked for it, but you know this is this is just n normal for him. Um, so guys like me, and I'm sure the other veteran players, and take this all and enjoy it. Um, but yeah, you know we, we want to continue to make everyone here proud uh, and win basketball games. Jordan, what can you say about the impact of Isaiah Wong? You know, even when he's not having the best game against Drake on Friday, how his leadership kind of helps. Yeah, uh, but Isaiah's a vet, um, ACC Player of the Year. The thing is, is everyone knows Isaiah can score, but what he does best is he spaces the floor out for other guys to operate. Um, he's such a, a threat offensively that teams have to send one, two, maybe even three at him. That allows you know other players, the other yeah other players that come in to create for themselves, you know.